respect size. It's going to sound stupid, but I think a lot of failures come through adding too much size on the trade. Mm -hmm. Your your stop is going to be very tight compared to if you take a little bit less size. So respect right. size. It's going to help you a lot. And then ask questions about setups. There are different traders that trade different things in the, the room, in the Discord room. So yep. don't don't be afraid to ask questions. We're all here to help. Funded trader of Trader Pool today, Michael is with me. Hey, Michael, how's hey, it going? How you doing? Not too bad. Good. Yeah. Um, and Michael passed the evaluation, the eighty thousand uh, dollar buying power, the super uh, buying power, basically. Uh, Michael, tell us how you did it. Um, respecting risk is one thing. Uh, having the parameters set for you it really uh, allows you to succeed. Nice. So we'll dive into that in a second. Let's talk a little bit about your uh, uh, trading background. How long you've been doing that? Um, I started investing in tw uh, 2012, and then uh, I started actively trading around 2017. Um, I took a little break and then came back around 2021, went to trade futures a little bit because uh, I wanted to automate my strategies uh, through coding. Mm -hmm. uh, but my heart was really in the small caps land. That's why I came back and uh, I use trade the pool now. It's always those small caps that uh, capture <laughs> yeah. you, you know. So um, a little bit about, first of all, you got a lot of experience, right? So feel free, like I said before, anything you can share with the guys on how to do it uh, correctly. And I'll share your uh, dashboard and show the guys at home your trades, basically. Tell me a little bit about your trading style. You said uh, small caps. What are you looking for? I'm basically looking for dilution. Uh, like a lot of people out there on uh, Twitter, uh, they talk about um, finding an edge through uh, the fundamentals. So I basically use flash research to um, to uh, find um, points on the chart that will essentially use as a resistance and where I think that other people will be sellers. So as you can see, I trade a lot pre-market because um, yeah. when the price is manipulated and it goes up, I use VWAP to gauge an entry and then um, use it as a guide along the way. So basically, I look for frauds. Yeah, yeah, especially in the small cap markets. That's uh, just a classic pump and dump. Yeah. Uh, so as I can see, most of your trades are on the short selling side. Yeah. Did you ever try to go long or... Why yeah, do that? yeah, I tried to. Uh, I took a trade on Hollow this morning, H O L O, long. Right. Uh, but I'm a little bit more nervous on the long side. I don't know why. It's always hmm. been like that. Crazy. Because I mean, I see so many of our funded traders that short in those penny stocks. And I always ask, why not to go long? And, and everyone's saying the same as you, you know? You know? Uh, yeah, they're so sketchy. Uh, <laughs> we, we've been seeing. <laughs> For yeah, the downside. Exactly. Yeah. So um, let's uh, dive into the strategy a little bit. Let's say you find uh, this um, gapper, right? Some uh, some stock that is gapping and popping like uh, LUNR lately. And then what you do? Um, on LUNR, it's going to be a little bit different. I usually trade day one gappers, hmm. um, such as ZVSA this morning. And um, on that particular ticker, I looked through the filings and uh, I saw there was uh, warrants at uh, 125 and $2, I think it was. So basically, I positioned myself to use those. If um, mm -hmm. it went a little bit over that, I would have caught it and uh, cut the trade and, and reattacked around dilution. Um, but like if we take that ticker particularly, I attacked around VWAP. And then on any push to VWAP, it's going to be a short for me. Mm. The day. So you basically you're not trying to take the top. You're waiting for it to drop below view up and then retest it. Yeah, uh, I'm not perfect though. Sometimes I will try to catch the top. Um, if RGT was one example today, where I was caught um, around the dilution and, and what I think was going to be a resistance, but uh, usually I try to wait for a another test to high a day. Mm. Got it. 
And what about uh, when you try to cover those shorts? Um, do you have any rules, any system for that? Um, I buy patience. What I mean by that is I'm going to take some profit off the table um, when uh, I, I feel that uh, it's going to be enough for that trade regardless of what happens if i break even around that it's going to be fine and uh, i try to remain in the chain as long as possible but um i don't use particular levels uh support or anything i use whole numbers so basically a dollar if on that particular ticker this morning it was uh around one dollar that it got out completely really? out so you're not really looking for um, technical, like technical indicators, let's say a high volume coming in um, or negative or positive diversion in one of the indicators? Uh, it depends on the setup on uh, the plays, the day one gappers I use, uh, I don't use volume that much. I will use acceleration on the tape to get out, mm. if it gotcha. makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Yeah, I mean, when you basically uh, find in capitulation, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Those are going to be areas where I'm going to take some profits. Nice. Um, let's talk a little bit about your evaluation. How was it? What do you feel about the, the experience at all? Uh, I really liked it. Honestly, I think um, having the uh, parameters set for me allowed me to really capitalize on, on my strengths and it capped my weaknesses. Um, I thought I knew how to trade before mm -hmm. coming to trade the pool. I really did. I've been on my own for quite a while. And, um, through journaling, I found out that risk was something I struggled with. So mm -hmm. coming to a prop firm like uh, yours is really allowing me to, um, change the way my mind works, um, as far as risk is concerned. Um, I really think it's going to help new traders out there um well from all levels basically but for me it was ultimately uh what allowed me to be here today amazing uh, let's dive into that just a tiny bit more because it's very interesting always talking about you know risk um you know you had your or still have your account like a uh, regular broker account right your own uh, personal account yeah uh the i swing trade out of that one though okay. i don't short and what's the um, you know the mentality or the, on the risk side that you you need to have between or the difference between trading your own capital and trading uh, trader pools um trading my own capital my risk is very very tight compared to trade the pool where i will take this a, a position based on the risk set for me yeah um my risk on my swing accounts will be based around moving averages, if it makes any sense. But um, on the short side with trade to pool, um, I usually take, I actually built a little program that is gonna tell me the number of shares I can trade based nice. on risk. Hmm. That's nice, yeah. So um, this is why you have, I'm looking at the trades and I, I see 800 and then 1,000 or 10,000. So th those basically set because of the the risk that you're taking comparing to the um, uh, size of the stop loss. Yeah, exactly. The uh, the risk reward ratio on, and, and, and the losses I'm going to take because I don't mind taking a few cuts, but they're always going to be at least half of a good trade's profits. Mm. Um, so and this is something that you're aiming for so like 50 percent success rate and uh x re risk reward yeah at least one to three that's ultimately the goal but we're not perfect right trading is a very a very emotional business yeah although you did it quite well i mean you're at 4.18 right now and 60 percent success rate that's a very decent numbers thank you yeah uh sounds good anything uh you want to share with the with the guys how to pass the evaluation so um, you know a lot of the guys are going in through that right now trying struggling maybe or trying to reach the profit something uh, that uh, they can do in order to go all in and reach it uh, respect size it's going to sound stupid but i think a lot of failures come through adding too much size on the trade 
mm-hmm. your your stop is going to be very tight compared to if you take a little bit less side you can uh, let it run a little bit more so respect right. size it's going to help you a lot and then ask questions about setups there are different traders that trade different things in the, the room in the discord room so yeah. don't don't be afraid to ask questions we're all here to help that's uh that's definitely i mean for those of you not familiar with our discord community feel free to join in you got a link in the hub uh if you go to a hub at tradepool.com and we're definitely trying to help each other we also have obviously the the live trading room that we just uh launched a few weeks ago um did you already visit uh unfortunately i couldn't but now that i'm off for a few days i will surely join in the morning definitely it's fun and we're we're doing some good stuff yeah yeah i bet looking forward to it sounds good michael so appreciate uh, the time and best of luck thank you so much and take care for now bye guys Bye bye